Royal Feast. So I would love to recap episode one like usual, but I regret to say that nothing really happens in episode one of Royal Feast. It's mainly an introduction and a very fragmented introduction, to be honest. Your patience will have to extend beyond episode one or even five in order to have an idea of what really matters. And even then, I can't really promise that you will care. Anyway, here are some notes about episode one. First of all, let me just list what can be appreciated. The costumes, they have a unique style. You don't have to like it, but clearly this quality warrants some appreciation. Then there's food. This drama successfully makes you hungry, okay? They make you want to eat vegetables. Next, the emperor, or rather the actor who plays the emperor here, who is also Guan Yu from Three Kingdoms, if you remember. He has minimal lines in episode one, and honestly, all he does is eating, but he just has this really powerful kingly air that makes you go, yep, that's a character you can expect both great and terrible things from. Okay, moving on. You get to the introduction of the female protagonist who's trying for a job in the Imperial Kitchen. You can pretty much tell that she's the female lead, not because she does anything impressive here, but because she has this permanent I'm special look on her face and because she gets to say thoughtless things that no one really knows the purpose of. <laughs> I mean, what is even the point of saying that? You want to get this job and you have a reason to be here, right? Are you just throwing out crazy talk randomly and hoping that some bored, stone-faced guy somewhere is going to be like, Oh, that's interesting. She's a keeper. <laughs> well, if you have a point, please make it soon. Anyway, on a positive note, the drama presents a relatively good introduction of the other two girls. One of them is feisty and reckless, and the other one is like this quietly ambitious talent who just knows what to do when faced with a pack of hungry, desperate men. <laughs> Tell me that's not more interesting than this. <laughs> now, Royal Feast also has court intrigue, and of course, the male lead is a key element in these games. Right now, he's in a carriage returning to the Imperial Palace, putting on a not-so-convincing act of reading. He also has pretty funny interactions with his close attendant. I mean, I wouldn't say that he stands out as a leading man yet either, but between him and the female lead, he seems to be the one capable of acting like a normal person. Anyway, can we just get back to the food now? Thank you. 